I just ate American burger. Then have a drink. I had a drink. Flavored to wash down American burger. What's your favorite intake? Post below. Lights, camera, action! Lights, camera, action. Welcome to our TV show. What do you know about Asian family? Huh? What do you know about damage counters? Forget what you thought you knew about Pokemon the Trading Card Game, because here is Pokemon the Trading Card Game Family Fun Time Package! Just the bare essentials. I have no idea what this is. Um, I got it from Japan, as you can probably guess. Family Pokemon Card Game! So I think this is for, like, parents to get involved with learning how to play with their kids. Oh my god, that is... Okay, that's th that is thumbnail material, boys. Wow! I like that. I th and I got this because I think there is alternate artwork for some GXs in here, which is really cool if true. So we have this Charizard. That is incredible! We've got some other poker flavors here we're gonna take a look at, but what else do we have in this chest? Let's dig a little deeper. These appear to be uh, family wristbands or something like that. Yep, I'll put that's definitely made for an Asian wrist. That's cutting off blood. My blood is clotting! Alright, this, okay. This just got boring real quick. There's, how much shit to read is in here? Raichu, one of my favorite Pokemon. We have some cool little doodles of a little Asian boy and a little Asian girl. Definitely uh, fully modeling after this family look. And I guess this just teaches you shit. Unfortunately, I don't speak the Japanese. Got Mewtwo here. That's sort of teaching you different things, maybe. We've got the playing mat, which on one side looks like almost like a soccer field. Very basic. I guess they, they really want to be make sure you don't get anything confused here. The entire design, it's just like there's nothing to confuse you. Everything on here is rules and tutorials. And the rest is just flat color. Don't worry, we're going to have a look at the cards in just a second. But first, what is this? Bruh. What the fuck? Oh, it's a special needs coin. It's a big fat baby coin for gamers. Me like a big flip. So it's like a Tarzo almost. That's I guess that's heads and that's tails. Time and time again, we see different variations of these. Uh, this time, very thick cardboard. Uh, usually it's like very thin cardboard, metal or dice. I think this is the first time I've seen thick laminate cardboard glaze. We've got more learning material, more pamphlets, more manuals. Uh, some cool little illustrations on here though. Please sir, give me some energy. All right, now we can actually do the fun part. Let's open up this. Let's see what kind of basic bitch deck we've got working with here. We have this Raichu GX, which I believe is alternate artwork to possibly an existing Raichu already. If you look down here, we have this really cool Raichu silhouette, which indicates, yep, it's part of this deck. Wait, we have multiple G. Okay. Okay, so this, I've never seen that before. I've definitely never seen that. We've got a big wiggly tuff and what? New Pikachu art! Correct me if I'm wrong, I have not seen this little cute bubbly flower boy before either. Alright, I might be getting a, a little too excited. Um, this is crazy. Okay, no I'm not. Hold on. I've not seen that either. This is mental. Okay, I'm not going to grade all these individual cards, but I'm so sure some people would want some of this. This is... This is all new. At least this is the first time I've seen this, I think. We've got a Mr. Mime who looks very embarrassed. Like he's just been asked to the prom. We've got a... What? Look at this little um, Squirtle watering can, I think it is, for this Chansey who's trying to just maintain the garden while the husband's out. We've got Eevee, different... This is whack! How has no one really, like, talked about or opened this before? I mean, obviously they have, but I've not seen much on this, and I've been sitting on this for quite some time now. Uh, we've got all the... Uh, here we go. All these... I'm not even going to tell you guys, I'm not even going to pop it on screen, but you know the drill. These are all worth money. These are worth a couple of dollars each. I can't tell if some... Okay. Is that new artwork? I don't know. I, swear, I, no, I think I've seen that before. That is new! That has got to be new! I'm freaking out here, boys! We've got... And we have some energies which, uh, you know, if you do collect all the energies, I guess this one has a little uh, Raichu stamp you can get, which is kind of nice as it's an electric energy. Uh, the rest is just... Of course, energies. Okay, what a wild ride. I think before we open the next one, we're gonna do the Sun and Moon Burning Shadows pack. 
Um, I've just had a bunch of these delivered in blister form. Uh, so, which is what you guys have been telling me to do, the ones that come with the promo cards in them, I think. And we get rid of the fire energy, and we take a look at Potown. We've got weakness policy, heat more, venipede, sneasel, fucking this, that. No, that! We've got Lady Buyers reverse, and on the very end, a Raichu. We've just seen a bigger, better version of you, pal. Alright, now, we will look at the Mewtwo. We are saving the Charizard properly for last, which is in my opinion, going to go up in value uh, because it's a Charizard and fuck you, you should just buy this full family bundle just for the Charizard. We have a Mewtwo. Very generic looking Mewtwo. The only cool thing in my opinion is that it's got the uh, little dark purple silhouette in the bottom right. It looks like any Mewtwo, you know, we could have seen him before. We okay? Hold the fuck up! No one told me my boy Gyarados was going to make a surprise appearance. In the mute with a Mewtwo stamp in the Mewtwo deck. Jeez, this shit is fucking wild. Okay, that is that is a sweet. And then the Magic Harp. You always know, even these vanilla Magic Harp cards, they hold like some value just because Magic Harps are quite a collected card. There's many Magic Harp cards. You can always find a collector for it. We have a Lapras, a shy Lapras playing with a beach ball. That's something. This is weird. I feel like we've Mew. We've got Mew art. This is fucked up! Of course there's gonna be a Mew, it's a Mewtwo thing. Um, blah 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 blah. Two different artworks of that. We have a, um, Farfetch. Just tugging his little leak there, alone. We have Sno- the uh, Snorlax! A creeper shot from above, someone up the top, uh, photographing him through the trees. This is crazy, this is crazy! Uh, we have these hammers which knock off energies or something like that. We have some fucking, uh, some great balls. We have some switches or some sucks or some, what are the fuck? We've got a ray gun. We've got this dude. Um, we have the judges, which again, we've definitely seen that art, but it's a variable because of the fucking thing. We have these which are worth a little bit, but I'm not even gonna bother with, fuck you. We have how, 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 then we have the energies. Alright, let's move on to the Charizard. My brain is beginning to collapse. Y'all mind if my brain just collapse real quick? Alright, it's happening. The Charizard. Oh, boys. Alright, I'm gonna save him for last. Uh, wait, can I even do that? Let, yeah, let's just take off the two- I know we've already seen him, but let's put him there for a sec. Let's see what we got behind the scenes. A Caterpie and some dark berry foliage. Oh, look at this Charizard! A Caterpie with a Charizard in the corner! Alright, we've got Caterpie again. We have Caterpie again. We've got a Metapod that's about to just be fucking killed. What's the point? This bird's just about to eat it. Picky Peck, we've got a uh, Butterfree, Butterfree. Scyther, your boy! Looking furious. We have that Anchor Pokemon, which for some reason is grass type. Isn't, doesn't this under the ocean? I'm actually confused. Am I missing the lore there? Charmander. Of course, we have to have the little baby boy who evolves into the angsty teen, Charmeleon! And then after this, we have Magma, the final evolution of Charmander. Fantastic. Uh, we've got the lizard, and who evolves into the sexy lizard lady, uh, if you're a fairy. And we have a Kangaskhan, which is some pretty cool artwork. The baby in the pouch, mimicking the big mother, who is much more powerful. Uh, and then we just have our trainers. Yep, yep. There are, each one of these decks has all the exact same trainers, it seems, and then we have the energies on the end. But, of course, flame energies with Charizard in the corner, much cooler than regular. Alright, let's see who we got. We have a Pinsir, up close and personal. I was kind of expecting a, like a stage 2 grass or something, but this is pretty cool. Again, weird, Pinsir with the Charizard logo. Sweet, now let's have a closer look at your boy, Charizard. Look at this artwork! This is fucking gorgeous! That's legit wild. Dude. Look at him go! Yeah, he's gotta be alternate artwork for an existing one, I think, but that... That's crazy. Anything that's Charizard, you know he's got a place in our hearts. Bruh! Bruh! Alright, I think we need to close this off, though, with... Some more Japanese cards. We have, um, very fittingly, the Reshiram slash... I gotta take this off before I have to go to the fucking ER. I can't believe that this is it's considered yesterday's news. There's like two more sets ahead of this now, pretty much. We're just gonna skin into this and suck one randomly. We might do another one after this. We'll see what we get. One to the front, and we flip around. We got your boy fucking Croc 3. We've got Litten. We've got Porygon 2. We have a Gloom. We have ah, one of my favorites from this set that we've seen at least. 
Uh, just from these regular hollows, this Snorlax, this artwork is so good. Let's do... Fuck it, let's do... We'll do... Mm, not three, we'll do two more. Two more. Okay, here we go. Now, this really is considered yesterday's news. This is so weird how many fucking sets come out in Japan and how quick. Uh, we've got the cat shit scoop. We've got the slouching sleazy drowsy. We've got the graveler. We've got the metapod. And we have the big boy golem. We've seen it before. Fuck it! We'll do one more! We'll do another one! I'm deranged! I'm a madman! Oh my god, lads, he's gone and done it. He's opened a fucking fifth pack! We've got- I remember opening this, and I was like, Hey, it's some sort of tri triple attack. And all the comments were like, Man, did you forget Dodrio had tri-attack? Okay, um... There we go, we got a Landorus on the end there. And I think that is gonna do it for today, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's just take another look and how fantastic this is. I did buy two of these because, well, mainly because the Charizard, but now that I've seen the box, I love the box. But thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, if you would like to buy any MoFo merch, you can do so in the link in the description. It would be appreciated. It does help me out. It rewards me with monetary gain that I can then fucking pursue opening more children's card games and filming it. If you would like to watch any of these other videos on screen, that also does support me. Make sure you smack the fuck out of that like button and press the bell button, and I'll See you next time. When do we open? I don't... Every two days, maybe.